big guy. In New England, they will teach him how to become oh, yes. a professional football player. And he won't have a weight problem because in New England, they work hard. Mike Warson, the strength and conditioning coach there, will have him on ready. We'll have him ready. And Michael, you look at Keith Trailer and you compare Vince Wilfork to Trailer. Short arms and a missed tackle every now and then because of that. But I'll tell you what, athletically gifted. His weight was estimated to be 350, what have you, 355, 360. He was 323 at the combine, 320, 23 during his individual, then 328 a few weeks before the draft. So he's maintained that weight at a level which can, which can maximize his ability in the NFL. Six one and a half, a kid who ran in the 498 to 503 range. And I'll tell you what, you go back to this year, Florida game, eight tackles and a sack, six hurries and a fumble recovery against Florida State. Productive. And I think what a lot of people really like about Vince Wilfork is this. You talk about stamina and durability. He was on the field for 55, 58 plays in a lot of games, more than Tommy Harris was. And I think people look at that weight and say it's a concern, but I'll tell you what, he showed stamina. He played into the fourth quarter, didn't wear down. Miami of Florida now with six first-round draft. I believe that's 19 over the last four years. Here, here it is. Let's just go down this.